Cheers, Cheers everyone. <laughs> Hello there, it's Dr. Lisa and Dr. Britt. Hi guys. And we're from Errol Street Chiropractic. We are. But we're visiting Scott's uh, wonderful store here in Flemington, Organic Whole Foods. Dr. Britt, what are you, what are you doing? Just eating my lunch. <laughs> Cutting into my lunch time. <laughs> <laughs> She's eating our props, I guys. Am. So we are talking about lunchbox ideas that are healthy, nutritious, save you time, save you money, and are super, super tasty. Because people are getting very bored. tasty. They're yeah. spending money, they're standing in queues, and they're really not knowing what they're getting in their lunch. Yeah, and then I think they get over trying to organize it, and that's when they just find the easier option just to go and buy something when they're at work as well. Yeah. yeah. So guys, this is just giving you ideas. And someone had said to me, well, why are chiropractors doing a video on food and what's that got to do with your back? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, really. So I tell you what it's got to do with your back because think about it, what you put in your body becomes your body. It definitely does, right? yeah. So if you're putting good quality foods that are wholesome, we're live, so we're gonna get <laughs> phone calls like this. Um, then that's what your body has got to make cells. So you're going to make your nerve cells, your muscle cells, your tendons, your ligaments, your heart cells, you get the picture. So it's really important to put good quality, wholesome, clean foods as much as possible because that is what's going to make you. So we're interested in that because we're interested in the body and we're interested in health. And it's also about getting, you know, just making sure you're not stressing the body by putting toxins yeah, and, yeah. you know, nasty stuff into you. So this is just really giving you some ideas. It's a little bit of fun. It's early yeah. in the year. And you guys might be starting to think about, oh, going back to school or back to work and what do I have for lunch? Yeah, well, this is a good time to do it. Give yourself a bit of time to practice and, you know, start thinking about more ideas that you guys can do so it doesn't become a stressful thing coming into that start of the school term yeah, so. or your working year as well. Yeah. yeah. Now, just yeah. so you guys know, we weren't having champagne, Dr. Britt and I, oh, in the middle of the day. Unfortunately. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kombucha here, guys. So it's even um, better. Even better. So it's good for your belly and organic whole foods. It's got beautiful some kombucha. lovely yeah. a range of um, kombucha. So, so they've got three stores. This one, which is down the road from us, so it's nice and convenient for us to shop. So, <laughs> shall we have a little at look at yeah. what we've got here today? Which so, one? This one. Did you want to grab that yeah. one there? So, this is a salad nichoir that has got lovely potatoes. It's got some organic beans, some red onions, some olives, and you can make it vegan by not putting the egg in there. Uh, you can um, make it, you know, you can um, really, it's, it's, you know, the other thing that you can add, which I haven't, and I'll chat about, can is this lovely, this? oh, it's you. a bit heavy, isn't it? There you go. Um, is this lovely uh, tuna that these guys have that is in glass. So it's just fabulous because it's also ethically sourced. So it's really good when you do the right thing mm -hmm. by the environment Definitely. and your body. So this is just beautiful tuna. So you can add that. So it's this, really good through that salad. Yeah. These ideas really, you know, Dr. Britt, most of the stuff was just happening while I was cooking dinner last yeah. night. So as you're cooking, you know, prepare your week, prepare, do your shop. And really, once you're just cooking, you just get a whole bunch of stuff done yeah. and you've got some meals for the next couple yeah. of days. It does, it's not as hard as it seems. It's no. quite easy. You I don't even realise you're doing it in the background while you're prepping no. dinner. Yeah. So you've got the oven on, you can have a few things going at the same yeah. time. Last night we had some fish uh, on the barbecue and before that we grilled a zucchini mm -hmm. for this lovely zucchini Ooh, salad. It's a beautiful salad. Can I say one. it now? You can. This is one I prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> been waiting all day to say this. <laughs> so I've got some grilled zucchini. We've yeah. got this is from my garden, a beautiful zucchini flower. It's a very pretty salad. Yeah. And delicious. Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. And it it's got the grilled zucchini, it's got some chopped herbs, um, you know, it's got rocket and you can for the dressing, oh yes, Dr. Brie, what oh, else yes. can we do? So if you if you want to add a bit of protein but you're yeah. vegan. So there's some nuts and seeds in here. So just roasted those and they're yeah. so nice. And then you sprinkle them over the top. Mm. Yeah. And if you want to add some leftover um, meat or chicken, mm -hmm. you can just add that into the salad. And voila, you've got some protein yeah. there. You can add some grilled halloumi. Again, vegans, you might want to, you know, you might add some tempeh. Yeah. So make it interesting because 
life is more interesting when your food's interesting. Oh, I definitely. think so. I mean, yeah. I'm Italian, so you know, we love our food's food. made for enjoyment. That's yeah. right. You know, it's obviously meant for giving you the right nutrients and sustenance, but you should be able to enjoy good quality food hmm. yeah. and color. I mean, there's so much yeah. color and vibrancy. Yeah. So, and also having some raw foods in your diet, in your um, meal, is really, really good too, because you're getting energy right straight from that food. Mm. But um, dressing, so you can just have uh, olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice. You can have some apple cider vinegar. Yeah. And also, guys, when you're seasoning, you know, use some really nice, that's a good you know, salt. the pink lake yeah. salt, preferably local as well. So just be mindful of mm. what you're eating, but also where it's coming from. And these guys here at Organic Whole Foods have got some yeah. beautiful produce. So, apple yeah. cider vinegar is great for digestion and metabolism and all of that as well. So it's yes. a good one to sprinkle on to your salads. Yeah, I'm getting hungry actually. Yeah, I'm so mm. hungry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we've just really uh, this is a good one. sexied up some hummus here guys. <laughs> Britt hates it when I say that. So I've got oh, some I hummus. <laughs> <laughs> we've got some hummus underneath which is um, from these guys here. It's an organic hummus. You can make it yourself but it's just so easy to have it done get a good you. quality one here. Yeah. yeah. And then you can use any uh, dip underneath this one. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've just uh, got some chickpeas I've drained and I've just put a bunch of spices like cumin and I made it a bit spicy with uh, cayenne pepper, uh, paprika. Did you, you put them on the stove top to do that or you just did it? Yeah, in the oven. In the oven. Yeah, yeah. in the oven. So I did a whole bunch of stuff in the oven. Yeah. I, I baked the cherry tomatoes as well, so yeah. they all went in the oven. And just a little bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of lemon juice. And yeah, so this is this is vegan as it is, um, and it, you know you don't really need to do anything mm. else to that good one. Good lunch and a good snack for those people who need that little pick me up in the afternoon. Mm. This is a good one to have on you as well. It looks so fruity as well. And while I had the oven on, Ooh, I just sweet potato. popped some sweet potatoes, and I again just covered this one. Has actually got. Did you try one? I did. Root? They're delicious. It, it, it's got like a, a Mexican spice. So again, just make sure you read your ingredients or you make it yourself. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I'll just put a bit of oil. And if I don't want to use cheese, I put nutritional yeast, which tastes like cheese. It's just so yummy. It gives it that just Mexican it. type flavor. Yeah. And then just in the oven, off it goes for I don't know. I think maybe about 30 minutes. I baked that yeah. for. What else have we got, Dr. Britt? We've got, got these beautiful like omelette wraps, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So these are just great ideas. So really you can put anything in there. So it's just a, a crepe that I just did with um, just beat up some egg, a little bit of water, a little bit of corn flour. Mm -hmm. You can get the corn corn flour if you don't want wheat. And I just made oh, a little bit of uh, chives just to kind of make it look Through a bit there. fruitier. Yeah. And then I've got grated carrot inside, a little bit of mayo. So there's vegan mayo if you don't want to use um, you know, animal products. And this one has got smoked salmon, but you can use anything. You yeah. can use chicken, you can use, uh, you know, cheese in there. And I've just got some lovely greens, uh, some lettuce, some rocket. And it's just so delicious. Yes, they are really mm, good. I can smell them. Can you guys smell and them? And they're a great <laughs> lunch box idea for yeah. the kids as well. They're easy because they can be cut up into bite sizes so the kids don't have to, you know, they can just have, pick them up, eat them, and then mm. go out and play as well. So you tend to find that they mm. easier for them to consume during the day when they're cut up into more bite sizes. Yes, so they can yeah. then go and play. Cause yeah, my kids didn't want to, you know, sort of sit and eat for long. No, they don't. But um, and there's no bread. It's all low carb, really. Yeah. And um, you know, as you're doing something for lunch, you can have a little bit extra for dinner or for the whole family. Yeah. So it's really, really easy. Just getting a couple of ideas, getting prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got, Doctor? I think we've kind of. I think of we gone covered them all. Yeah. Through. We've kind of gone through everything. Um, but they're just simple ideas that you can prep the start of the week and have them in the fridge or have things ready to go if you run out of, you know, cook something for half the week and the other half yeah. you've got the ingredients to make something else as well. And, um, you know, try and, and, well not try, but do eat seasonally as well. Yes. So these are yeah. all things that are in season now and mm -hmm. so much better for you. It's good just to give your body a break. We shouldn't be eating broccoli all year round, you know, yeah. just give your body that break from certain foods and um, you know you know what you've put in here it is so important that you know what ingredients you're, you're eating very important but don't stress at the same time you know occasionally as a catch-up you go out to lunch oh. or you have a meeting and you're out at lunch you can still make some healthier choices yeah. from menus however you don't need to stress about it if you you know have 
haven't had major lunch one day. No, it's and life's all deal. about balance. That's, a, that's my yeah. own favourite saying. It's all about balance. Yes, so, yes, yeah. yes. As chiropractors, we love balance. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we hope you have enjoyed our segment today. Yeah. And it's been lots of fun preparing food. And what's even more fun is that we get to eat this. I now. know. <laughs> but also, if you guys want some more information or you're only caught half of it and you want some information on how to make the wraps with, that, like, the omelette crepes, just send us a message mm. um, or comment down below and we can always give you a bit more information or if you want you know just to talk about some other kind of meal options we're always here for it we love to have a chat with you guys as well yeah and yeah. the thing is if you over the next couple of days I'll actually be popping this on our website Fabulous. with the recipes as well Perfect. so there here you we go, go. that Thank answers that question <laughs> go to our website so anyway guys we are going to say goodbye see and we'll see you next time oh.